In this video, we are going to talk about the basic differences between microevolution and macroevolution. So first of all, what is microevolution? As the name indicates that it occurs at a small level. So microevolution basically happens at a small scale within a single population. So the changes in the allelic frequency that occurs at the population level is basically microevolution, whereas macroevolution happens on a larger scale uh, at the species level or above the species level. So microevolution is basically a change in the allelic frequency of a population or within a population. So here in this figure, you can see uh, a population of beetles and there are two morphological forms that exist in the population, green colored beetles and brown colored beetles. As you can see that brown colored beetles are better camouflaged with their environment uh, as compared to the green be beetles and there are more chances that the green beetles will be caught by the predators. So with the passage of time, the alleles that encode the green color will be reduced in the population as these are not favored by the nature. So in this way, a natural selection can lead to a change in the allelic frequency of genes in a population. So along with natural selection, some other forces uh, uh, affect the allelic frequency uh, within a population and these include uh, immigration or migration of individuals individuals may uh, leave or enter into a population uh, and uh, mutations also play an important role in uh, changing the allelic frequency of a population and uh, some uh, random genetic drift can also occur from one generation to the next so these are the forces basically that lead to a change in the allelic frequency of uh, population and this is basically known as microevolution. Next moving towards macroevolution. Macroevolution is the evolution above the species level. So here in this case we are going to talk about the evolutionary history or the evolution above the species level or different groups of organisms. In this figure you can see the yellow color circle indicates the beetles whereas uh, the uh, green colored uh, circle indicates the insects and then the, the blue colored uh, circle indicates the arts. So if we are talking about the uh, origin of arthropods, insects and then beetles. So this is basically macroevolution that how these groups of animals evolved and uh, uh, for example such as the origin of mammals and the radiation of flowering plants. So here basically we are dealing with the macroevolution and macroevolutionary patterns are generally what we see when we look at the large scale history of life. For example, scientists study the history of life. So whenever we are discussing the evolutionary history or evolutionary origin of any group of individuals or organisms. So at that time we are dealing with macroevolution, whereas microevolution is the smaller scale change in the allelic frequency of a population.